to make these Easter Bunny egg cozies. You are going to need size 4 worsted weight yarn, size 6 straight needles. I am out of town so I'm just using my circular needle so that's fine. And then you're going to need a stitch holder. I don't have a stitch holder so I'm just using another um, smaller needle to put them on. Or you can have a scrap piece of yarn and put it through that. And then a needle and scissors. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we are going to cast on 30 stitches. So we need to do the long tail cast on. And now we make a slip knot. So we twist the yarn and we grab the one that's underneath and we pull it through the loop. And then we get our needle and you tighten it on there. Okay? So this actually is our first stitch. Now we are going to grab our yarn, put our pointer and thumb, and then get our other fingers to hold the rest of the yarn, pull them away from each other like this. Then you get your needle and you go on your thumb side, pick up this yarn, go all the way over to your other finger, and go through. And then tighten it. So that's two. Let's do it again. Pick up this yarn, go over there and go through. Okay, one more time. Okay, so we're going to cast on 30. Okay, now that we have 30 stitches on our needle, this is what we do for 3 and an eighth inches. We just knit, so get our right needle. And we go to the front, all the way to the back. And with our working yarn, so I hold my yarn, I wrap it around my pinky, and I bring it up on my pointer finger. And I put it around my right needle counterclockwise and then slide it off. Okay, and I just kind of tighten it. Now let's do our second stitch. So from the front to the back, bring your yarn around and pull it off. Okay. Okay, and then when you get to the end of your row, all you do is turn your work over, and now you're ready to start your second row. Front to back, our yarn's in the back when we knit. And just knit for three and an eighth inches. Okay. okay, so this is what mine looks like after doing the three and one eighth inches. Now what we're going to do is bind off our first stitch. So we need to knit two. And then we go underneath our first stitch to pull over our second stitch. Okay? And that's binding off our first stitch. Knit 13 more stitches.
So that leaves you with 15. Slide these off on a stitch holder. Since I don't have my stitch holder with me, then I'm just putting them on a extra piece of scrap yarn. You can see. Okay, so we will work with those stitches later. If you want, you can tie this together just to make sure that those don't go anywhere. Okay. okay, now we're just going to continue going back and forth for two inches. So we just knit each row for two inches. All right. Okay, now it's time to cut the yarn. And then put our needle through it. And then pull the stitches off onto the needle. Okay, just like that, and then I tie a knot, pull it as far as it can, tie the knot, and then weave in your ends, so just kind of go through the top. And now, now we need to put the stitches back on our needle. Okay, so we're going to start on the inside because it says that we need to bind off closest to these 14 stitches. And we do the same thing. Let's see. Okay, so we grab our yarn make it like a loop, leaving a tail, we wrap it onto our right needle, and we knit, and then I'm going to knit with my tail, just so that it doesn't fall off, and then we pick up this first stitch, and we drop it. That. Now we're left with 14 stitches and we do the exact same thing that we did with our first year. Just keep on knitting until you have two and three fourths inches. Alright, so this is what mine looks like. Right? And then you're going to sew your bunny together. So this will be the back part. And I'm just going to use my tail from when I cast it on. And just Sew the back up and then go and start sewing this ear. So you just stitch it together. This is how I do it. Okay, 
So do this all the way, and then stitch up your ears, make the eyes. And then make a nose. I made a boy and girl version, so I just added a little bow in her hair, and then I made a bow tie for the boy. So it just makes it kind of fun, and not as plain. Okay, so you see how it's standing straight? Well, you can make it look, go flat like this, and then you can put a little cotton tail.